get a single car, maybe two car oh. TC traffic cool. Tapped in front of the fire station. I don't want you to reach in there. I'll grab whatever you need. I don't want you reaching in there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 I think you dropped the corner here. I hit my head. Single locker. Okay. Do you have any pain anywhere? You want to get checked out? Sure. I want to ask you a couple of silly questions. Okay, what day? It's Monday. Okay, what city are you in? Hey, man. So it looks like we had a, it was a two-car TC. He said a Mustang came up behind him, sideswiped him, hit him, hit and run. He took off. The guy in the Mustang. My Mustang took off and the bank left and sped out of here. He's refusing any medical treatment. He doesn't want and us to evaluate right it. Here? Yeah, he could probably give you some more information on the car. He's up the street. He's up the street. Oh, he's. he's... Hey, McCabe, are you going to go check that guy out? Yeah? Okay. Do you want us to follow you? You want us to go with you? Okay. We're gonna go down the street. It sounds like they found the, the guy that hit him and he did the hit and run. So we're gonna go do a medical evaluation on him and then IPD will probably wanna to talk to him as well. <laughs> we're sitting there and we hear the Boom! Perfect. Oh yeah, he's got damage here. Oh yeah, this whole side. Sideswiped him. Does he want to do this before we do a medical on him? So he's getting run through the DOI check right now. We're going to grab some medical vitals to make sure he's clear and cleared a book to go with IPD. It looks like he's probably in trouble. So. I was waiting for the, you could go with him, you go with us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you want to go to the hospital or you want to go to jail? Do you need us to medical clear him or are you good? Uh, we're going to have to take him to the hospital. Anyway. So you don't need us? Yeah. Okay. That's All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. So it looks like IPD is taking over from here. They're going to take him down to JFK Hospital and have him evaluated there. Do their thing. So we're good to go. Okay. I hear someone rolling hot. PD to a two alarm. Engine 202. We're at Broadway and Gilbert for that stabbing, Gilbert, Maine. So we had an altercation at the light rail station. Uh, one person was stabbed in the leg, and that's all we have. Just got staged for a uh, stabbing uh, at the light rail station here. I got the PD channel. I heard them say that it's code four for us to enter, meaning it's secure for us to go on scene. So we're going to go check on the patient right now. you arrive at Right now, I have one wound, high upper outside thigh, full six. We do have some pretty good swelling and such cavity. Oh. Can't really turn it that high. No. Sorry. Well, we're going to pack it. Do you know for sure that you were only stabbed once, my friend? Uh, he got me cut on the hand right here a little bit, but that's okay. it. I went to res I was like, he started swinging at me, and I don't know, and, and he hit me once. And then I, I started hitting him up, and I grabbed by the neck, set him to the ground, he pulled out a knife at that point, And I didn't know he had a knife. He had stuck me before that, too. So I, you know, I, and then I wrestled him out. I made him drop the knife before I let him go at all or anything. And then right, he fine. fucking took off the second I Perfect. All right. OK, you guys got all my stuff for me? Yeah. Yeah, we'll make sure it all comes with. OK. Somebody lift this leg. Oh, I can lift it up. Yeah, I, I can lift it up, man. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Don't kick me with your bloody leg. No, I'm going to kick you guys. I know, I know. You're doing your best. I appreciate you, man. Pitch got an altercation with somebody that's not on the scene anymore, has one stab loon just below his right buttocks. There was a ton of blood on his legs. So we didn't know if he had more wounds, which with his uh, adrenaline going, he might not have known he had. He got stabbed more than once. So we ended up doing a wound pack on that just to make sure we controlled the bleeding, cleaned up his leg, make sure there was no other wounds there. We're going to start an IV, get him over to a trauma center, and make sure that there's not more damage that we don't know about. I'm going to give you guys a new incident if you want to clear. We are getting on the truck. PD advised that uh, possibly the other person that was related to this incident, the officers have stopped up the street here, and it sounds like that person may have fallen. So uh, they asked us to come do an assessment on him. So we're headed that way now, just a couple blocks away. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Did 
something, we're going to find out about it whether you tell us or not. So just relax, let these guys take care of you, and we'll talk again once they're finished with all that, all right? What's going on, man? Did you have a fall, or? Yeah, I had a fall over there in Gilbert Canal. OK. Well, check your chest, man. You said your chest hurts. I want to see if it's bruised or anything. Wow. I just don't want to go to jail. And I didn't even know I had a worn out hey, thing. That's stupid. We don't have anything to do with that, man. My biggest concern is your health right now. I so I just. I don't even give a about my health. All right, dude. Well, I, well, I do, man. What they said that I did. Right. Or anything. Did you, you want to go to the hospital? Arm, yes, my arm, my elbow, my elbow. It okay. freaking hurts. Oh, Copy sir. that, man. All right. Don't be upset. I'm sorry. No, it's we're here like to help you out. Is like I'm trying okay. to like let right. you guys know that my elbow and I, and then like I'm. I'm all right, don't, don't worry. Just, we have to ask everyone that, so we get you over to the hospital. It sounds like this guy may have been tied to our last incident. We don't know the details, but. There may have been a witness that he fit the description of the suspect from the last one. He was seen fleeing the area. Um, he ran from police. He also had some felony warrants. He's also got a criminal history. He's denying everything, but he does admit to us as having a knife, which there was a knife used on the last incident. So PD will sort all that out. It's really not for us to do. We've got him in the ambulance now with PD following behind, and we're going to get him over to the hospital and evaluated, and we'll let PD sort all the rest of it out. Copy, thanks. Guys, so we're going on a male possible overdose. He said he has a large hematoma to his forehead. He's spitting out blood, lots of screaming in the background. Not exactly sure what's going on, but PD's on scene. It's uh, secure to enter inside the liquor store here. So we're going to give him some medicine to help calm down a little bit. We carry spit hoods to put on them so we don't get spit on, just how we protect ourselves from diseases and stuff. This is ketamine, and it's going to help sedate them so we can, we can help them. Keep holding them. Yeah. This is she kick in shortly. In order for us to get off, oh, you, you, need, off you need to calm down. Oh, okay. Oh, Usually it takes about 30 oh, seconds or so, and he'll start. Hopefully, he'll start relaxing, calming down. Oh, oh, oh! Can you relax? Relax. Oh. You've done a good job. Here you go. Now it's time to relax. There you go. What's this? So this? Crack? Oh, oh, oh! So we found a meth pipe. Oh, oh. You guys ready? Hey, I got it. Let me get it. When people do meth, what happens, they could be violent, combative, and unpredictable. But the medicine's working, he's calm now. We're gonna keep him tight to the gurney just in case. Take him to the hospital and see what they can do over there. There it is, right there. It's ripping. Put your lights on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we definitely got a fire here. We got visible smoke. We're going to a confirmed structure fire. We got visible smoke. 
the second alarm. I'm not sure what it is. It's definitely a two and a half story wood frame. Go right up here. Get up right up right on the sidewalk. Over here. Good. Stop. 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 Can we go around the other side? Go, get that line over here. Watch that vinyl. Two so far. One and two. I got multiple others. I'll advise you as soon as I can. Any birds or just jump injuries? Two jump injuries. Two jump injuries, maybe a third. That's gas. That was a propane tank? All right. Yeah, right now, Rescue 2 and all companies are conducting a primary search. Uh, there was some victims pulled out earlier. So right now we're trying to complete that and make sure everybody's out of the building uh, before we go into any further operations as well. So it's a pretty aggressive uh, offensive attack. Heavy fire on all floors from when it got here. Four people jumping. I have uh, uh, serious injuries, traumatic injuries. It's, uh, it's a real, real cold day here, so things are freezing up too. You can see that white smoke up there. That's because it's really cold. Um, not because we're getting water on it. It, it flashed over to some of the guys right now. So we'll, we're going to see what we can do to make some headway on it. Uh, pretty intense, but that's what we do. So let's just pray for the people that are around. While we were up in the third floor doing a primary search, the fire ended up flashing over on us. That's where all the uh, smoke and superheated gases it hit the optimal temperature, and then it all uh, just ignites. So it's a big fireball. It pushed us down the stairs, lit up right over our heads. Uh, right now, we're doing an exterior operation, uh, darkening down some of the fire so we can go back in and uh, mop up. It's out now. All right. Everybody all right? Yeah, we're good. Primary searches on all floors are negative at this time. Uh, we're in the process of overhaul, trying to open up, find all the hot spots so we don't come back for a rekindle. Fire investigators on scene will uh, do his investigation and determine what the cause was. Sir, so route to uh, MVA with injuries. Uh, here's somebody's having some neck and back pain. Looks like it's multiple vehicles. Uh, off to our left here where there's people are at. Yeah, just, you know what? Yeah, take that lane. Okay. Just go, go on coming in. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four of you. How many vehicles? Three right here. There's two vehicles. It, it's two. It's that white truck over there and my little car. I tried to move up a little bit, you know? I, was, I don't know if I was going to turn or what, but I was trying to get out of his way. Then all of a sudden, he just came and hit my car and pushed us up towards this way, and I don't know what's wrong with his car. And then I got off, and I told him, what the heck is your problem? He, excuse my language, but I told him, you stupid didn't you see the damn line with the and he was telling me i was a little bit uh like he wasn't paying attention and i told him what do you mean i paying attention i said how the didn't you see that i was right there why i go you well excuse me but i told you son of a bitch you know i look at my car look at my kids my husband is this your vehicle to open my hood? yeah for what reason so your car has has an airbag on it. Yeah, but it didn't deploy. Does is it is it the original airbag? Yes. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to just disconnect the battery, and disconnect power to it because your vehicle's not drivable. It has to be towed. Why? Well, we don't. Well, who makes that assessment? Well, I mean. I drove it around here. It's you know. 
My airbag didn't deploy. We don't know if that airbag's gonna deploy at a later date or a later time. We don't know if something's gonna jar it loose. We don't want an unexpected deployment. So we don't feel it's safe. I wonder if we can push down. All of this glass is the first time. Right. If we can push down on this. Glass here. Yeah, I know that. Well, I do hard, I, so, I have a harder job than you guys do. I work in industrial construction. Now, you understand, we can't tell you that this, this thing is safe to drive, right? You know what? I appreciate your opinion and your honesty and your concern, but I would, I'll talk to the police officer all right now. Hey, partner, that car is completely unsafe and operational to drive. Sir, your airbag didn't deploy, and if you're driving down the street and you hit a speed bump or you hit a bump in the wrong way, and that airbag deploys when you're not in an impact, that can cause serious injury to you. But even though I'm only up two and a quarter miles from here, I can't drive my vehicle home. It's completely unsafe to drive, okay? You can park it in a parking lot. The second uh, driver of this accident, the, the airbags hadn't deployed, so we kind of felt that it wasn't safe to drive the vehicle with those still with those airbags still intact. We try to explain that to him, but he feels that he could just drive, you know, he's known this truck forever. He's trying to convince him of different. It's been a little challenging, but I think he finally, after I chimed in and then my captain chimed in and then the police officer also chimed in, he's finally okay with calling a tow company and just have it towed to his house. We're responding with Mesa PD, patient passed out in a white Chevy Impala. So this patient is breathing. Cool. All right. But they're unconscious. Oh, sleeping. Where everybody's pointing over here. So let's just go ahead and pull in behind them. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Now then, you know where you are? Uh -huh. Can you crawl out on that side? Why not? What are you sleeping off? Huh? What are you sleeping off? You're tired. Yeah. You know where you are? Yeah. What's your name? Logan. Logan? Yeah. You know what city you're in right now? Okay. What day of the week is it? Uh, How about the month? The month is a, uh, uh, scared. Yeah, well, you're kind of scared your neighbors. Hey, Logan, uh, don't back up on us. Dude, you guys don't have a right to hold me here. Hey, Fine. let's put this in. in uh... My house is right there. OK. Cool. Why don't you get up and get out and go to your house then? OK, I can do that. Right. Shut my door. What's this here? Huh? What's that here? You smoking something? Uh, hey, back up. Back up. Yeah. He's been cool. He's, his first name's Logan. He's been talking with us. Logan, just step out, OK? Come on, man. You've been cool with us. Just step out. Yo, yo. Hands on. We're used to calls like this where you don't know exactly what these people are going to do. If they suddenly become awake, uh, then they try to flee the scene and stuff in a vehicle. It could injure us. So went ahead and came in behind him so it wouldn't be able to leave. We want to secure that vehicle as soon as we can. You look pale, mister. Yeah, well, there was a big argument, big fight at the house. Yeah? Yeah. We had our, our, our kids were coming to do a visit, and I was up really late cleaning the house till about, oh, yeah. I would say, 7 in the morning. Yeah, let me see your eyes. So what, what drug are you smoking inside your ride there? Huh? What drugs are you smoking in your ride? What drugs was I smoking? Yeah. I hadn't smoked anything yet. He was shoving stuff down here. Here it is. Black tar heroin. Because he was fidgeting around, shoving stuff under, we looked in the car, we can see uh, immediately micro baggies, which are known for drug paraphernalia. There's also some, these plastic straws, with residue. 
commonly used in heroin. heroin. He was kind of groggy, very pale looking. It appeared that he was under the influence. Seems to be good, doing good with uh, all his vital signs. And uh, PD will go ahead and book him and uh, take possession of his vehicle. And that'll be that. He'll go to the jail. We're going to do a two vehicle MVA. Sounds like one car was driving in the opposite, uh, on the wrong side of the road the head-on collision with the other vehicle. We have uh, one female patient with a broken arm. And one person li trying to leave the scene. This says the female patient's right arm is completely snapped. We have road blockage. Uh, this guy was driving drunk, head-on collision. That guy in Airbag the yellow over there? Both vehicles. Yeah. Uh, Stay right there. No, no Stay right. LLC. We'll bring the stretcher over. No LLC. Um, obvious to form me in the right arm. Kind of looks like a zigzag. Okay. Uh, no allergies. No allergies. Hi there. Hey, Yoni. You had your seatbelt on? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, no spidering, no defense. All right. All right. He's going to bring the stretcher over. Let me do All right. Ma'am, are, are you on any blood thinners? Oh, no. You're not, you're not on any blood thinners? You're no. not hurting anywhere? Just my arm. Your arm right there, not in your neck back here? Yep. Like this? What about here? No? Hips? Yep. And, and you remember everything that happened? Yep. You were driving this way, he was coming right at you yep. in the lane? You got no, it. Nothing you could do to get out of his way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I'm, died. I'm so sorry. Well, you're doing really good, comparatively, but as bad as it is. Want to stretcher? He's playing, but he wants to go too. Now, you want a second rest? OK, yeah, I'll do, I'll do that. Okay. You'll get the stretcher for this one, please. Well, that, that's a question for these guys, OK? I can't really. Hi there. Hey. Hey there. Doing? Pretty good. You were driving this one? Yes. Did you have your seatbelt on? I did. OK. Are you having any neck pain, back pain? I'm having some, like, shoulder pain Shoulder right pain? OK. I All can't. Right. I can't, like, oh. pretend, like, I can just, like, low, lower it. Okay. All right. I can't lower so, it. Okay. Okay. So this is the deal. I can't take you in that ambulance because we have the other person that you hit in there. So we've got to okay. call for another ambulance, but we can start getting things done. Okay. Cool. Sit down. Hey, sit, see, buddy. sit down on the ground, please. Yeah, yeah. What is your name? Angelo. Angelo, do you have any medical problems? No. No. You don't want to take any medicines every single day. No. Are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. Not normally. Okay. I just have to ask you these questions. I'm okay. Sorry. I'm not That's all right. Mean to yell at you. That's all right. We're gonna I'm put sorry. a collar on you, okay? Why just precautionary, just to make oh, sure, okay? All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. You got into an accident. Let's get that on you. Yeah. There we go. What What have you had to drink tonight? Uh, I drank some tequila. Some tequila. What about drugs? No. No. No drugs. Just drinking. Okay. All right, Angela, so this is what's going to happen. The other rescue is going to come, and they're going to take you to the hospital, OK? Why? Uh, because you complained of shoulder pain. Yeah, my shoulder hurts. Angela, answer me this. Do you know what month it is right now? Yeah. What month? Uh, August. Good. Who's the president? Trump. How many quarters in a dollar? How many quarters in a dollar? Four. Good. OK. You're just you were in an accident, so and you complained of pain, so we're going to go to the hospital. Yeah, my, my shoulder hurts. All right, so let's go get it checked out. No, no, no. That doesn't have to have that. Yeah, well, you already told us you wanted to go, so we got a rescue coming for you. He's going to the hospital, right? That's I mean, is, he, is he under arrest with you guys? You know, we haven't, we he haven't, will we be. haven't got okay. to that point. OK, so, so if he tries to tell us he's not going to go, though. He's got to be clear before he goes to jail anyway. OK, all right, OK. You see your truck? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind taking him. I'm just saying, when he tries to tell me he's not going and tries to start fighting us and stuff, then, then he'll be under arrest and be going for sure, it's just as long, as long as you guys will help us on that part. All right, Angelo. Put this on. No, other arm. Come on. If your left, if your left side hurts, I got this. All right, Angelo, come on. They're going to get, get you by your pants. Yeah, it has nothing to do with. Sit right there. My left arm, but like, that right. hurts, man. All right, well, that's why we're going to the hospital, buddy. I haven't even got a chance to look in there yet. <laughs> there was no deformity in the steer wheel. But... How's that seatbelt? The seatbelt locked? Yeah, he didn't. Oh, no. Okay, he had a seatbelt on there. All right, so you're good? 
We're good. All right, thanks guys, appreciate yeah, that's it. that's your uh, clipboard right there. Oh, thanks. Let me grab that bag. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.